afternoon to you, everyone. We're a little bit past St. Patty's Day, but we're still gonna be celebrating St. Patty's Day this weekend. We are back at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, one of our favorite semi-local parks. We've actually booked a VIP St. Patty's Day celebration tour. So we're gonna go head over right now to the London Tour Office and check in, and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. First tour ever, we're really excited. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And we do things like this. To get things started today, we're headed straight to the Tours and Education Office right at the front of the park in the London area. There's many different tours you can book here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, ranging from animal tours to event tours. But whatever the tour is, there's a good chance you're gonna start there at that Tours and Education Office. So head to the front of the park if you got one of these things booked, check in, and they'll guide you from there. Here's our St. Patrick's Day celebration event tour lanyard. And we got some beads. Bling. Beads. So at this point, it bears mentioning that this tour wasn't just a private offering for the two of us. After meeting up with our tour guides, Jane and Timothy, we were consolidated in with other guests who had booked the same tour. And together, we all formed a small group to trek from London to Germany with a surprise pit stop in Italy along the way. See guys, if you do the St. Patty's Day tour, they show you where all the hidden leprechauns are. There's a leprechaun scavenger hunt. There's a leprechaun scavenger hunt. There's no prize hunt. <laughs> Making our way through Italy because we took a group poll on what roller coasters everyone wanted to jump the line on and Verbolton came in first place. So I think that's where we're headed now. <laughs> Bolton, amazing ride as usual, and we got to basically jump to the front of the line, not all the way to the front row. Yeah, you just get in basically whatever row has an opening and then you get on the ride. Super awesome to be able to bypass probably a 40 minute wait. And we want to thank Jane and Timothy for saving us the cost of a locker because your guys actually hold your bags for you while you're on the ride. It was a nice little yeah. turn of fate. It's another leprechaun! And look, this one's wearing later hosen. Cute! Right over there. Does anybody want to do cars? Sure. Uh, that looks like a disaster over there. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Sunday driver. All right. Two o'clock is dinner time around these parts, and all roads lead to Fest House. Whereas part of our tour, we'll be getting a free meal. It's good to be VIP. Included in the cost of our VIP tour is one meal at Fest House, which includes entree, side, dessert, and drink, which would usually run you probably 30 bucks, minimum. For two people, yeah. For two people. I would say for one person. It makes an impact, is the bottom line. Because the tour we booked was limited to four hours duration, we weren't guaranteed to see every single show, attraction, and event that was running during the St. Patty's Day celebration. It's just not always practical to finagle the park's schedule around the handful of people who actually booked the tour. But in places like Fest House, where seating can be hard to find on a slow day, getting free food and having a reserved spot right next to the stage is almost worth the cost of the tour on its own. <laughs> What did you think of the show? It's always beautiful. They do really good work in Fest House. It was nice, like, to, hear, to be like, in the. Like Danny Boy, and then, like, he raised me up. And that day after that, so and to have an awesome seat. Oh yeah, we, I don't think we've ever had that. Good nope, we've never been this close. VIP comes with perks. We're looking for the leprechaun. We know he's here somewhere, but we don't know where. We found him. 
Trixie Hobbits is. Word on the street is that there may be a new coaster going into Curse of Dark Castle's husk, but that's just word on the street. We don't know anything. This is a bush mountain. It was originally owned by Anheuser Bush. That's why we call it Bush Mountain. Bush wow, Alpengeist is quiet. But for, well, they they it. It. It's because of the new paint job. <laughs> the paint quiets people. Here we go. Alpengeist is rolling. It's looking a lot like we may be getting on Alpengeist, fam. It's been a minute, so hope we can handle it. Look who I found. Somehow we always seem to find her when we're here. It's Zoe from Wishing Mouse, everyone. And to Wishing Mouse. Yes. Never leave anyone hanging. You gotta subscribe to both. Exactly. It only takes two clicks, people. Two clicks. Word on the street is that Alpengeist is your favorite ride. It is. I don't know. Pantheon's a close second. I don't know. It's like it's tied with Pantheon, but I really love Alpengeist. But why? It's just amazing. It just is. It just is. It just is. <laughs> it just is. Everyone yodel at the top. than I remember, so maybe the paint actually did give it a little bit. <laughs> it was a little bit more powerful. We're headed now to Ireland to check out Celtic Fire where we have some VIP seating as part of our tour. And on the way, supposedly, we're gonna pick up some green beer specialty for the season. I'm not a huge beer drinker myself, but just the novelty of it, I gotta get one, you know? It's part of the experience. Let's go! Hey, look at that! It's a French leprechaun! Sacre bleu! So green beer, as you can see, would typically be $11.99, which means that we're getting quite a bargain being able to pick it up for free as part of the tour. I'm coming! I'm coming! I got my beer, I'm coming! What is this? I feel like we're going into a back alley deal here. I think we are. Are we scalping tickets? $15, one of these is yours. Yeah, that's right. $15 for a small box of stale popcorn. Oh. Regrettably for any who have not yet seen this show, you will not be seeing Celtic Fire on our channel today. Photos are permitted as long as there's no flash, but video is not allowed in any of the major theaters at Busch Gardens, including the Abbey Stone Theater where Celtic Fire is performed. You'll just have to trust us that this show is one of the best, if not the best, live theme park performance pieces on the East Coast. By the time the performance concluded, we had less than half an hour left in our tour, and our group knew that we weren't going to get to every single St. Paddy's Day event. So we came Came together on what we felt were the most important things to spend our last few precious minutes on. Kettle corn! Green kettle corn. <laughs> a staple of Irish holidays. Good job. I'm Jane, that's Gregory, that's Timothy. If he's a bad job, my name is Zoe. <laughs> we want to thank 
Gregory, Jane, Timothy, and to a lesser extent. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to do it for our day here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. A little bit shorter than we had planned simply because it's really cold. And some of the things that were on the St. Patty's Day checklist we didn't get to simply for lack of time. But honestly, I'd say the $72 we put in the pot with our 20% member discount, we got a ton of value out of this day. Busch Gardens delivers again and we will definitely be back. Unfortunately, Pantheon was off the table today because of high winds. I'm always happy to come back to Busch Gardens and try again another day. We will be back. And thank you Zoe for coming out meeting us because she's not working today so she didn't even have to. If you're not already following Wishing Mouse make sure to go ahead and subscribe. She has awesome Disney content as well as Bush Gardens content and cruise content now. And if you're not following us please do like and subscribe if you like this content. We do stuff like this all the time and we will certainly be doing more of it again later. We found the final leprechaun and he's Irish just like all leprechauns should be. For tonight guys I'm Tim. I'm Katie. I'm Zoe. And every day is a new adventure. We will see you next time. Bye. Goodbye! So cold.